Hi guys, Ronnie here. Today I want to talk about the durability of my Speedplay cleats and pedal systems. And I really want to talk about this topic because uh, back in the day when I was running Shimano pedals and I was not very satisfied with them, I was looking at Speedplay and I was quite hesitant because there were quite some negative reviews regarding their durability and toughness. So I decided to address this and to show you how my pedals and cleats look after roughly 15,000 kilometers of riding in all sorts of conditions from nice uh, sunny dry days to uh, riding on muddy roads in the winter so let me just get you straight uh, to the cleats themselves so back when I bought uh, my pedals that was uh, last November I decided to go for the Zero Titanium model for the road bike and for the uh, Aero Titanium model for my time trial bike. And at that time uh, there wasn't really an option to buy the Zeros uh, with the Aero cleat. So I decided to buy the separate, separately to uh, serve both of my shoes. The one thing which I've already shown but I think that's quite stupid is that when you buy the walkable cleat separately you don't get this uh, little covering piece that would make uh, the cleat uh, flush with the shoe uh, despite the three hole adapter there so if you're running a f specific four bolt uh, shoes that's not a problem but if you need the adapter then if you don't already have the aero pedals then you are going to lack this piece for whatever reason <coughs> Speedplay don't include it and it can't be bought separately either so that's a bit strange uh, nevertheless here's my cleat uh, after 15,000 kilometers roughly perhaps even more and as you can see uh, there's not really much wear on it so uh, this uh, rubber piece well, basically is uh, proprietary to the walkable cleat and even though I did some, uh, some walking on it it's nowhere near uh, worn through so that's holding up fine and if you look at the cleat spring that's perhaps the most important thing of them all then apart from the black paint or coating on there there's really uh, not many signs of wear and one minor wear mark or some of them are located on the cleat adapter itself so this is where the metal interface uh, comes into contact with the plastic and even though the plastic is quite hard uh, still that's an extremely uh, hard I think some kind of case hardened steel which is on top of the pedal that digs its way uh, into it a bit and uh, you can't really notice anything while you're riding but if you run your finger over it then you can see it's starting to or you can feel it's starting to wear out a bit but it doesn't really cause any, any problems another piece that is slightly worn out is the screw but uh, luckily the material of the screw is much softer again uh, than the, that on the pedal so it's it doesn't really create any issues so in terms of walkability I think these cleats are the most walkable road cleats on the market I have had looks I've had Shimano's and because they have those three prongs on them or those uh, protruding bits you can't really work on them uh, but on these, even though the grip is still not excellent, uh, they're pretty pretty decent uh, when you want to walk around in them and where uh, life is quite good as well. Okay, so this is pretty much how the cleat ended up. Uh, one thing I would like to add is Speedplay recommends uh, looping it regularly now they recommend using a dry teflon loop 
which I have been using uh, for the first couple of months but that just uh, really didn't work for me because no matter how much uh, dry lube I added to either the cleat or the pedal itself it was always noisy and squeaky and uh, it was driving me a bit crazy and then uh, one day I have decided to try a very thin oil-based lubricant and from that day on I ride with silent cleats uh, even though uh, Speedpay specifically says that you shouldn't use oil-based lubricants on the cleats because they will attract dirt well this one I'm going to show it to you in a minute so it's this one it's uh, Easy Loop by Motel nothing special really probably very similar to WD-40 it's thin oil useful locks or whatever so you can just uh, take this uh, tiny nozzle and spray it where it needs to be on the spring mainly and this makes the whole pedal system very very silent and for the first few rides it does get a little bit uh, mucky like for example a typical chain lubricant so you get uh, some black marks in there but you just wipe them off and then afterwards uh, the oil keeps uh, trapped in there so you get nice lubrication and it doesn't really attract uh, dirt too much because uh, now in the winter there are times when I have to stop for a pee or something mid ride and even when I step into grass or perhaps even mud it just doesn't really stick in there so no worries now let's look at the pedal itself so I'm showing you uh, the zero pedal which has seen much more use uh, than my aero pedals there's no real real point in showing them showing you those because they basically look like new I don't ride the TT bike all that much in terms of mileage and not at all in bad condition so here is the zero pedal which has been through it all yes yeah, so the most important thing again metal plate this is super hard so uh, basically no wear at all some mark from the screw but it's just cosmetic there is no real uh, indentation in there so the cleat interface with the spring is very very solid still and on the sides or on the outside rather it does show uh, a little bit of wear you can feel it with your finger I'm not sure it is visible on the camera but yeah the plastic interfaces uh, do rub uh, together a bit now bear in mind that uh, I use my cleats completely fixed so that might be one of the reasons why why they are so fresh there's no real movement in there still so yeah the whole pedal system is uh, holding up very well then if you talk about the bearings uh, I have looped them quite religiously because I have ridden a lot in the wet and in bad, in bad conditions and I didn't really use uh, Speedplay's own lubricant because that one is super thick uh, what I've used is some low friction bearing ease which uh, still gives enough protection because there's quite a lot of it in the pedal body itself and it probably saves maybe a half and a third of the watt because the pedals spin quite easily even when they are fully lubricated which can't really be said uh, about the regular speed play grease and I've had no problems with corrosion whatsoever if you pay close attention then you can probably feel a tiny amount of play if you try really hard but that's uh, that hasn't really changed since they were new and doesn't really affect the performance in any way uh, one other wear mark uh, appears on the spindle and this is basically from the cleat contacting uh, the spindle itself when it's engaged but it happens in the first couple of rides and then they sort of wear together and it's not really 
progressing anymore. So, yeah, basically this system still has, I think, at least twice as much life left in it. And I've, th th uh, I've thought about changing the cleat, but it still uh, engages properly. And I didn't get any accidental releases, there is no play in it. And the rubber, uh, which can be bought separately if you wear it out, is still intact. I don't think there is any need and it will probably last another season or two. Okay, so this was a bit of an overview of the speed play pedals and their durability in quite some detail. So if you have been hesitant to try the best pedal system I think there is on the market, then I think if you look after them properly, the durability uh, is really not an issue. I think they have the potential to last.